Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Sujit here from Benzene. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about a simple report which you can fetch in Jira, which talks about which assignee is working on which ticket and how much time he has spent on it. So let's start. So a lot of teams want to track or want to monitor which person has spent how much time within a sprint duration or within last one month where the managers or the scrum master end up spending a lot of time fetching all the issues in Excel sheet from Jira and then tracking it manually. But there is one small hack or a workaround where you can fetch a report of which person has worked or spent how much time uh, within a sprint or within a duration of time. And that is what we will be learning in this video today. There are two predefined reports which Jira provide. Uh, one is the time tracking report, which you can see on the screen. The other one is the user workload report. But however, uh, time tracking report does not tell you which person has worked on which uh, ticket and how long uh, has he or she worked on it. On the other hand, user workload report can give you a report only for one user at a time. So with user workload report, you might have to change, you might have to configure every person's name one by one and then understand how much time he or she has spent. But if you are looking at a report where you want to fetch how much time each person in your team has spent in a sprint duration, you might have to create something called as gadget in your dashboard and I will show you how. So there is one prerequisite which you have to ensure is taken care of before we fetch a report on time tracking. That is uh, the time tracking permissions. Ask your super site admin to enable time tracking for your project or if you are the admin of the project or your super admin, go to your permission schemes in your site administration. From there, select the scheme which you want to enable uh, time tracking for. And in that, if you scroll down, you will find this time tracking permissions. And in that, work on issues is something which you have to enable for that scheme. So once you enable that, all the projects which are using this particular scheme will have time tracking enabled and the user or any person in the team can enter the time which he or she has worked on. So once you have enabled uh, time tracking permissions in your settings, uh, any issue ticket type in your project will have that field goal so visible. If you can see my cursor, you can see the time tracking field where when you're cre creating a ticket, you will be able to uh, exactly put uh, the estimate in terms of hours, days or weeks. Also, when a work uh, item is getting completed, uh, a user or any team member can input uh, the time spent on that particular ticket. So in order uh, to fetch the report of which person has spent how much time in the sprint duration or in given uh, time duration, it is important for any uh, team member to follow these things. One is all the tickets should be assigned to him or her. And once the ticket is completed, uh, he or she uh, should enter the time spent in the time log section before we close the ticket. So the first step in fetching the report is to create a filter. So let's uh, take a scenario that I want to fetch a report of uh, how much time each member in my team have spent in last sprint. So let's see how we can uh, fetch this. The first step, as I told you all, is to create a filter. Here in this example, I have created a filter uh, to fetch all the work items pulled by my team in the last two weeks, that is the last sprint. If you've noticed, I've used a field called resolution date and I've filtered all the tickets uh, which are resolved uh, within the last two weeks. Uh, the duration can be need basis and you can customize it based on your need. Uh, the other field which you can use to filter out uh, the tickets is updated date. Again, that also has uh, something like uh, updated within two weeks or within a range or between two dates. Again, you can use these fields to fetch all the tickets uh, for your report. 
Now that the filter is created, let's see how we can get a graphical representation of how much time each person in our team has spent. Go to your dashboards uh, in your project and click on add a new gadget. On your right side, if you scroll down to the end, you will see a gadget called as workload pie chart Add it to your dashboard. Once you add the gadget to the dashboard, it is time for us to configure it. The filter we created can be added in the filter section here. And in the statistic type, use assignee. There are three options you will get in the next field. One is the time spent, original estimate, and your current estimate. Click on time spent and save it. This should give you a pie chart of uh, assignee versus time spent in the last two weeks based on the filter you have created. If you closely observe this graph, it talks about who are uh, assigned in our team for the sprint and how much time they have spent uh, in the last two weeks. If you click on the graph, you will be directed to a list page where you can see which person has worked on which ticket also. So this is a simple workaround where you can see how much time each person has spent in the last sprint or in any given duration and what are the tickets. I hope this video helped you all and thank you so much for watching this video. If you all have any feedbacks or comments, please post it in the comment section below. Thank you so much.